Cocteau Twins, a Scottish dream pop shoegaze post-punk trio with Robin Guthrie on guitar, Simon Raymond on bass and vocalist Elizabeth Fraser. Treasure is their third album. It was released on November 1st, 1984 on legendary label 4AD. And it simply couldn't be named better as it is exactly that, a little treasure chest filled with magical tunes, ethereal atmosphere and out-of-this-world vocal performances from Liz Fraser. My name is Marek, you are watching Talking Records and today I will take a look at this timeless classic from Cocteau Twins. It's interesting to see stylistic shift between their inspired by Joy Division and early The Cure post-punk um, debut Garlands into Dream Pop on Treasure barely two years later. And at the same time you can sense that here they found and embraced a niche they felt really comfortable in. This was also the time when the band's final lineup crystallized after being joined by bassist Simon Raymond. They remained in this configuration until band's breakup in 1997. Album starts with Ivo and Lorelei, both more positive and upbeat, uh, filled with this serene heavenly vibe, followed by Beatrix with beautiful medieval sounding melody. It sounds almost like an invocation of an ancient goddess in a forgotten temple, almost like a spiritual experience. Persephone, my favorite track from Treasure and uh, one of my favorite songs from the 80s in general, starts with um, drum machine rhythm joined soon by Gatrice's vigorous and forceful guitar and expressive and full of passion singing from Liz Fraser. Vocals on this album play a role of another instrument, another building block um, of entire structure of composition. They are often hard to decipher but more important than meaning of words is how they sound and resonate. In a way they are dancing with and around those ethereal compositions. Another strong characteristic of Twins' music is how it transports listener into different reality. It's not only ethereal, but also a very illustrative, like a painting or a vintage Polaroid photo. And let me tell you this, I am not one of those fans always complaining that um, modern music sucks and everything good was created in the 70s and the 80s and what we get to hear today is uh, garbage, because that's simply not true. But Treasure is a perfect example of artistic achievement that could be conceived only then and there at the legendary 4AD label. It encapsulates the essence of era it was created in. What this album is also famous for is that all of the song's titles are mythical and archaic sounding names. Some of them were dedicated to actual people like Ivo for 4AD founder Ivo Watts Russell. But naming songs like that gives them all distinctive personalities. They are like a ghost haunting abandoned mansion, wanting to share their stories with you. Liz's voice, sometimes, like on Amelia, actually sounds like a lost soul wandering through empty rooms and corridors. We can appreciate the elegance and the classy atmosphere of Pandora, as well as the mysterious whispers on a very laid back Odelly, to be followed by Donimo, a sublime final track with angelic choir in the background. Perfect way to finish a perfect album, at the same time making you want to revisit it immediately. What's interesting, band wasn't really happy with the final result of the recording, feeling it was rushed and unfinished, and we are talking about album universally praised by both critics and fans, favorite to many. One of the reviewers even famously called them a voice of God, which apparently Robin Guthrie felt uncomfortable with. It shows how artist's relation with a piece of art that he created and dedicated so much thought and energy into can differ from casual listener's perspective. Looking for proper words to describe treasure, one that comes to mind often is consistency and how effortlessly it flows from one song to another, like if every track on the record was carefully selected and placed where it rightfully belongs. They developed their own style and musical language not yet seen before them, but uh, giving inspiration for future generations of artists like uh, Warpaint, Slow Dive or Beach House, among others. And that alone speaks volumes about timeless value of musical jewels hidden inside of this little treasure chest. Mm -hmm. 